Hello, this is Father Daniel Kim, Marino Missioner, and welcome to our daily Gospel reading and reflection. Today's Gospel reading is according to St. Mark, chapter 3, verses 13 to 19. Jesus went up the mountain and summoned those whom he wanted, and they came to him. He appointed twelve, whom he also named apostles, that they might be with him, and he might send them forth to preach, and to have authority to drive out demons. He appointed the twelve, Simon, whom he named Peter, James, son of Zebedee, and John, the brother of James, whom he named Bonerges, that is, sons of thunder, Andrew, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Cananean, and Judas Iscariot, who betrayed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Thirty-nine years ago on this day, the U.S. Supreme Court made a landmark decision that legalized abortion in the United States. Since then, the Church has formally named January 22nd as a day of prayer for the legal protection of unborn children. All life is precious, and just as how Christ called each of the apostles by name, we too are called by name to follow Him. And as Christians, it is our duty to protect and cherish the sanctity of life from the moment of conception until the end of our earthly pilgrimage, whereupon we will meet the author of life face to face. So keeping in mind the importance of this day, let us join our fellow brothers and sisters around the world to pray for the legal protection of unborn children and for all life to be cherished and valued. Thank you for listening to today's Gospel reading and reflection. Please be sure to tune in again tomorrow. Have a blessed and life-giving day. If you enjoyed today's Gospel reading and reflection, please make sure that you subscribe wherever you're listening to podcasts. Also, if you know somebody who may find value in today's reading, please make sure that you share it with them. To learn more about how you can support the work that Mary Knoll does around the world, please visit us at MaryKnollSociety.org. And if you're interested in subscribing to our online magazine, please feel free to visit us at MaryKnollMagazine.org. Thank you once again for spending your time with us today, and God bless.